Today is November 13th. Pastor is saying to us, a lesson in obedience. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Philippians chapter 2 verse 8. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. In Luke chapter 3 verse 38, when you study the genealogy of Adam, he was called the son of God. So, if the first Adam was the son of God, and the second Adam, Jesus Christ, is the son of God, what's the difference between the two sons of God? The answer is in the parable that Jesus gave in Matthew chapter 21, verses 28 to 31, of two sons. Their father told the sons to go work in his vineyard. The first son assured his father that he'd go, but he didn't, he disobeyed. The second son told his father he wouldn't go, but he went. Jesus then asked, which of the two sons obeyed his father? Clearly, the obedient one is the one who actually did his father's will, though initially refusing to do so. Now, in the Garden of Gethsemane, in the final moments before Jesus was arrested to be crucified, he prayed earnestly, saying, Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. Luke chapter 22, verse 42. Jesus didn't want to do it, but he did anyway. So, our theme verse says of Jesus, and being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Jesus' exaltation came because he was obedient unto death. But the failure of the first Adam was his disobedience. The Bible says, For as by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners. So by the obedience of one, shall many be made righteous. Romans chapter 5 verse 19. Had the first Adam obeyed, the second Adam wouldn't have been necessary. So, the difference between the first Adam and the second Adam was obedience. Obedience is very important. It pays to listen to God and follow his ways. Being born again, we are born in the nature of the second Adam, Jesus Christ, and we have his obedient spirit. Hence, in 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 14, we are called his obedient children. Walk therefore in this nature of Christ in you and please the Father always. Please say this prayer with me. Dear Father, Thank you for the privilege of receiving spiritual instructions, which convey your wisdom. Continually, your spirit guides me to apply my heart to spiritual instructions, doing things your way, which is the surest measure for guaranteed progress in life. As I demonstrate obedience to your word, I walk in success, victory, excellence and glory in jesus name amen for further study please read first samuel chapter 15 verse 22 first peter chapter 1 verse 14 and proverbs chapter 8 verse 10 for the one-year bible reading plan please read hebrews chapter 11 verses 1 to 16 and ezekiel chapters 5 to 7 for the two-year bible reading plan please read first john chapter 1 verses 1 to 10 and Ezekiel chapter 44. Rhapsody of reality.